trying just to make the right choice. I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be. Happy Sabbath, church family. No, 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 no. I'm going to try that again. Happy Sabbath, church family. That was a little better, but I'm still not feeling the love. When I come to church, I like to feel like this is home. So I'm going to try that one more time. Happy Sabbath, church family. Uh, I guess that one to do. Happy Sabbath, church family. My name is Jonathan Dalvaris, and this is ROC. We are excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Anybody else excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? I guess you didn't hear the question correctly. Anybody excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? There we go. Thank you so much, sister in the back. I appreciate you. Um, I just want to give God praise for things we take for granted, like getting in our cars, getting on a highway, getting from point A to point B safely. That's stuff that we take for granted every day. And I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to the news, but last Sunday uh, showed that that is not something that we should take for granted. Um, 2020 has been a difficult, uh, has started off difficult for a lot of us. I know myself personally, a lot of people in the choir, we've lost loved ones already within the first month of the year, but we're still giving God praise in the midst of our pain and sorrow. Last week, uh, those who have not heard the tragic death of NBA superstar Kobe Bryant and the uh, eight other lives that were lost in that helicopter crash, uh, something that is common to him. For us getting in our car, driving somewhere, that's normal for us. Him getting in a helicopter, that's something that he did all the time. And you never expect leaving your house, telling your loved ones goodbye, that that will be your last goodbye. So it just puts into perspective how fragile life is. It puts into perspective how fragile life is and that tomorrow is not promised. So we just want to give God praise for having breath in our bodies, uh, being lively, being here to be able to freely worship. I'm going to say that again, being able to freely worship. Not everybody has that benefit. So we want to give God praise by singing, There is a Fountain. Anybody know that song? So we have a choir up here, but we want all of this to be a choir. Is that okay? Thank you. 
Amen. I'm so glad we could come before our maker and kneel before that one, that fountain, the one that shed his blood on Calvary's cross for you and for me. Hallelujah. So we come before him now with our broken hearts. Come ye broken hearted. Coming before the master, kneeling before him. Hallelujah. Breathe. 